Nollywood actor and politician pleads with Buhari to provide an economic relief package for Nigerians. He tweeted, Dear President, um, please provide an economic relief package for Nigerians, even if it's 50,000 naira each, it will go a long way. People are hungry, locked down with no money, begging left, right, and center. With a situation like this, it will be difficult to keep people at home. Also, Yule Doche encourages Nigerians to do a challenge that would get federal government attention instead of the ones that would not be beneficial. So um, he He's was subbing. basically throwing a sob at um, our very interesting challenges. I don't know. Yeah, those challenges are fun. Yeah. Those challenges I mean, people are need to have fun, you know, right? It is. It's not every time that we must do something that would change yes. the world. Mm -hmm. And also, um, when I read the story, it was interesting to me because at first I was like, ah, I agree with you. But then I looked at it like critically. Mm -hmm. How many Nigerians, when last did you do a national population census? Mm. How many Nigerians are in a database? How are mm. we going to distribute I got this an 50, SMS 000? from NCDC this morning. You are a privileged quite, you know, so I, I feel like if there's going to be an aid um, in that database you know, for NCDC just, to send me an SMS. I was thinking about it. Okay, yeah, we're all screaming and clamoring for, you know, relief packages and, you know, this kind of stuff. But how are they going to get to the... Like, yeah. how is it going to be implemented? Mm. How is it going to get to the Nigerians that actually mm. need yeah. these things? I, I think I, as much as we talk database. about database and we are worried about it, I think it's something that can really be done because we have local governments we our, our structure or our well structure even if we say we don't have structure it gets down to the grassroots at the end of the day we have councillors we have town hall meetings and all that and this is where um the obas and the traditional rulers can come to play so make the 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 package whatever it is available i'm sure with the right thinking cap on you will be able to to share it to those who really need it yeah. i don't think it's going to be that such a big deal but i i know that if we have the database like you're talking about it yeah, it will be yeah. easier so right easy. but it's not like it is impossible it's not an impossible case it's not an impossible case to be quite frank. but the, but the problem with, with the problem not having a database is how you regulate that so mm -hmm. if i can just come and say i'm really poor and i get yeah. 50, how do i Someone know send my son to mm -hmm. go and do the same thing um and even the way the the one i saw with the food distribution i think it was executed really poorly and everyone was gathering around yeah. there's a problem with that because they were trying to avoid um you know crowd crowded spaces but then you can't do door to door because they don't have doors so it's like a very yeah. like um sticky situation. situation yeah and um, even the situation yesterday kind of made the whole avoiding crowd space very impossible futile because yeah. everybody had to be everybody out was yesterday. outside yesterday and personally i things. feel like I, I know that the decision of the federal government is based on trying to to um um curb, um, curb the whole flatten the curve right yeah. that's yeah. the um, phrase right yeah but not properly communicating with the governor of the state to know how to really transition to that stage yeah. without that panic of yesterday was yes. the wrong move and yeah. I, I hope that that has not even started the trouble we're trying to avoid mm -hmm. that's yes. my um, sincere hope right now yeah, because i went to the market yesterday and it was very very you know alarming because mm. there were a lot of people in the market the markets were being shut down so a lot of people were in a hurry to get rid of, you know, the perishable goods that they already had. So mm. most of them came outside. So there was just, I was struggling yeah. to mm. not like have, have any contact, contact with mm. somebody else. Are you was, sure you did so we I did not. <laughs> I did not have <laughs> okay. any contact. I was so mm. angry because everybody was just, you know, and nobody even cared. It was yeah, like the coronavirus was not on anybody's mind. Everybody yeah. was just like, to I want to you yeah. know, get yeah. stuff. So I, I felt like if the government gave us maybe a two days notice, yeah. it would have been way better than the immediate. It was like a 24 hour yeah. notice, you know, so I, I felt like they could have done better. Okay. I hope that we'll come out of this stronger.